Jacksonville Beach now has updated its alcohol ordinance to boost security at places that serve alcohol and impose stiffer penalties on violators. News 4 Jacks reporter Ashley Spicer is joining us live from the beach. Ashley, this is something law enforcement wanted because of a rash of problems occurring after 11 o'clock at night. That's right, Tom. They tell me that their biggest problems are from 11 o'clock of course, at night to 2 a.m. And it's right here along this strip in downtown Jacksonville Beach where all the bars and restaurants are. They say the goal of this ordinance is to lessen the number of incidences that they have to respond to here. The issue is with with bars. I mean, you're filling people full of alcohol. It's, it's your responsibility as a bar when you do that. It's, you, you have to be a responsible vendor. Sergeant Larry Smith tells me there are three big takeaways from this ordinance passing. One is that now businesses must have a security plan in place and approved by law enforcement, which includes putting security cameras up. That's immeasurable having a camera because a lot of times it's kind of hard to determine with people bar hopping. It's hard to determine where these people actually actually uh, over consumed alcohol if that's the case. It's not just the business who can get in trouble, but also the building owner, meaning owners will need to be more concerned about who they lease to, which is a sticking point for city council members like Phil Vogel saying. Any business could just either change their name or an owner could wait until they got their privileges suspended, let them leave and then bring in and immediately bring in a new person. A year without anybody in your establishment being able to sell alcohol after midnight is a pretty significant punishment. Thirdly, going forward, violations will be punished more harshly. On the first violation, you will immediately have to be evaluated by a magistrate. Up to three strikes, you'll have your business rights pulled for a year, which again goes back to the building owner taking away their right to lease for that time period. How do you handle those those issues uh, when you uh, when, it, when it arises? You're not going to stop a bar fight per se from happening. It's just how do you how do you respond to that bar fight? Do you turn off the music? Do you turn the lights on? Do you call the police? Um, things of that nature. In fact, Sergeant Smith tells me that the shooting death of Leon Bennett stemmed from the issue inside of a bar, and those are the types of issues they need to respond to immediately, not just shove the problem to the street. And I spoke with multiple restaurant and bar owners off camera today. Nobody really wanted to go on camera, but they say they're not worried about this, that honestly they're reputable businesses and they follow the rules, so it shouldn't affect them. The point is it's trying to keep businesses out of this area that don't follow the rules. I'm live from Jacksonville Beach, Ashley Spicer, Channel 4, the local station.